Baby, fuck no baby. <laughs> you, you baited that dude. Yeah, fuck baby. I say that all the time, dude. Like, I got that from here. Now the fucking thing do its thing, T. Oh, baby. Welcome back to the Calvin TJ podcast where we never miss an upload, Calvin TJ, baby. Calvin TJ Benedict podcast. <laughs> Special guest by me, Benedict. We are, uh, this is the second one today. Yes, but let's, uh, before you guys go ham in the comments, I know you will, we are sharing a mic. Well, they are sharing a mic and we're doing the best I, we can with it. So I couldn't figure it out. Audio should hopefully be decent enough where you guys can hear them and don't have any issues. But um, headphone users, you'll probably be okay if you're on your phone or listening it to the, listening through the car or something. You might struggle, but uh, get wrecked, I guess. Yeah, Ripperino. Um, you could probably turn up the gain a little bit more, Teej. If you look under there, there's a little knob. No, no, the not, big knob. no, not the big knob. Next to the plug, to the right of the no, no, left. Go left. Go left? Yeah. That one. Yeah. You could turn that up it's a little maxed. bit. It's not maxed. Oh. Oh, oh, that's oh, all, oh way too much. Oh, God. Back up. That's... There we go. That's good. That's good. All right. So what's our topic today, brother? This is why you're a special guest. Well, you can't... Well, yeah. Okay. You want okay. to introduce if, it? If that's what we're doing, the the topic today is... <laughs> Hype beast culture. Yeah, look oh, at his I shirt. Like, look at his yeah. shirt. Look, look at that. Look at, look, at look at his, look at his boy. Oh, if you know, boy. if you know, if you know, you know. If you don't know, then you don't yeah. know. I don't yeah. even know. What now that you was. know. So nigga. basically, I don't know what. What'd you just do? Tell me my back. If you look at my back, it's what, guess it's jeans. wrinkles. Guess jeans. Ouch, you have to get, give a little. It's, oh, it oh, is wrinkled. Look at that. Throw it back a little bit. Guess jeans. If you're just listening to this, Benny just did a little bit of a twerk. The, the dollar signs are be based on um, ASAP Rocky. He did a collaboration with Guess. Oh, that's that's a sweet is, shirt um, then. And that's what this shirt is. And hype beast culture has definitely been exploding in the last like couple years, yeah. which is interesting because there's like a lot of issues with it. Issues? What does that mean? In the sense that um, a lot of reselling is going on. The issue is it's very limited quantities, so people purchase them simply because it is limited and they know they can make money off Wasn't of it. Wasn't that the whole, like, purpose of that, like, hype beast thing? I mean, you make it... What makes it hype beast is the rarity. Exclusivity, yeah. So, but, doesn't that all come in the game? Yeah, but for, like, Supreme, for example, you can get shirts where, like, $40, $30, which is, like, normal price clothing, to be honest. But... The name is what brings it up. So literally, you can buy the shirt for forty, and it'll be sold guaranteed at least for sixty dollars. I'd like to point out that you can get Hunco shirts for twenty eight dollars, not thirty, not even forty. So just like, shameless plugs. Link, link in bio. Fuck no, I. Uh, year or that. I mean, I think it just comes. I don't consider myself. A high beast at all I like i don't know the first so, thing about bit, shit but you like your a shoes. little bit i like shoes yeah that yeah sneaker so, but like that's different. like yeah. that's like level one yeah. of like yeah, a million yeah, like definitely. i'm like sure 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 i don't yeah. consider myself that i don't know the first i calvin mm -hmm. or not calvin benedict wears all these clothes and i could tell like it's that like fit but dude i don't mm -hmm. i don't know yeah. shit yeah that's the brands just, and whatnot yeah it's and what interests me is how many people are into it. I don't know if it's a younger generation thing. I don't think it is because there's people definitely our age and all that jazz mm -hmm. that were the same thing. I think a big person, the first person that stands out to me is FaZe Banks. I'm sure mm -hmm. neither of you know who that is, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, I don't... I, I can't attest to this being the full reason, but part of the reason is definitely rappers because hip-hop and rap is definitely becoming more mainstream without a doubt. Like, it's in more like well, radio before we jump into it can you explain what is hype beast what if yeah, you define that for to us to someone like, who has no idea what okay. it is for someone who's watching who doesn't even have a clue what to we're talking your understanding about. to the best of your understanding so the first part is hype and there's a bunch of these streetwear brands that are like they're base they're just kind of called streetwear because there's 
something you can call like mall core, which would be stuff you can buy inside of a mall, like mall core. I didn't know that. Mall core. Yeah, it's That's just it's like a oh, joke. Oh damn, right you're it's fucking like a joke. deep they, in Reddit learning this. Meme. It's like it's basically just like clothes that you can buy at a mall, like the hundreds or like champion. But champion's like kind of in between. But anyway, what about Adidas? Adidas is just too big. Adidas is so big that like anyone wears Adidas, so it's not like a big deal. But there's like certain types of shoes. But like I said, like NMDs, no one knew what NMDs were. And then it blew up where it used to be a very sneakerhead shoe. But nowadays, you definitely see people just getting NMDs. So it's just yeah, mall core. Now? I'd mostly say mall core. It doesn't pertain to shoes. It's specifically only um, articles. Of yeah. So back to what I was saying. There's like certain brands that people know because that rappers wear them like supreme there's palace there's like bape there's off-white there's different levels but basically there are like tiers of clothing and some people buy these clothes just for the name just because when you see it you know that it's expensive and it's like perceived as cool and, louis vuitton yeah and like louis vuitton is different because that's like high end more high end but something like yeezys because I've definitely heard of people saying Yeezys are an ugly shoe. Uh -huh. But for people that are into shoes, it's hype because of, like, Kanye and, like, how... Just, like, the name Yeezy, because it's been around since, like, um, the the first Yeezy, which was super hype. Because it's just the Yeezy. I don't know. And then it, like, kind of grew. So, basically, people make the joke of hype beast. Like, a hype beast outfit would be something... Where you're just wearing a bunch of name brand where the fit doesn't really make sense. Like, it doesn't... Does, okay, so that kind of goes back to what I was thinking. When I first heard that term, hype beast... Now, this is a very, like, weird scenario, but people were calling Jesse Wellens from Boyfriend vs. Girlfriend, Prank vs. Prank. Some of you will know who that is. If you don't, it's irrelevant. But, the, like, people... He was commenting on the fact that some people were calling him a hype beast, which it seemed had negative connotation like he was like no i ain't a hype beast like and it oh it almost sounds like correct me if i'm wrong a, like a poser in a way and it can have that light uh -huh. on it yeah. maybe a little bit because i could see where they're coming from with poser because streetwear as a thing is like fashion using those clothes but it's in a nice way and like you there's streetwear is a huge yeah, a range of clothing streetwear it's just exactly like streetwear is such a weird thing to explain because it doesn't like even the, have to be branded clothing necessarily it's just, it's just like the style it's a style. modern yeah it's, it's like a, a modern style. it's like an edgy fashion. kind of like the holes in the shirt and no not necessarily not even that because it could just be like wearing dress shirts it's just like a a style of clothing that it's hard to say because the way i can explain it is like people wear normal clothes like mall clothes like, and then people that like put effort into their clothing and like try to deal with like proportions and like um lengths yeah lengths, lengths and tightness. colors and that kind of stuff that, that they care about that kind of stuff while using sometimes clothing with name brands and stuff like that i see i see yeah but the reason why hype beast has a bad connotation is because it's for the most part, people who have money, it's a joke where you have a lot of money so you can buy nice brands, but you have no idea how to wear them coherently in a in an outfit so that's that what makes it, sense. That's what so for the uneducated think it yeah, is. It'd be like wearing a Supreme box logo hoodie with Yeezys. Just because those two items have for oh. lack of a better term, like clout. Like they have big clout? Like clout is like how much <laughs> i'm like explaining like yeah, slang to a dad right now i don't know things. I'm like, like, dang, I don't, how much like oh man i don't get that shit either um for like it's like, good it's reputation good. i guess or like yeah. uh, how gassed up you are like how much yeah, yeah. how cool you, i don't know it's hard to explain but it's basically like how it's like an almost it's a cool thing like when like you see swag. yeah like when you see the supreme box logo people know what it is just because okay, it's because it has clout yeah because got it's so, it it's so well it. now well no like yeah, supreme no, 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 but that was a bad like that's supreme like saying, has clout. oh dude this is it'd be this like is dope because it has swag that's what you just said. no but it's no, basically no, no, like no. That, it'd be like asap rocky he has no, clout no. because or yeezy he has clout because of what he's done so he can yeah, yeah. do things that normal people can't notoriety yeah be a good word because 
it's just yeah, cool because they do it. Not yeah, like yeah. base. Okay, what was what was the whole point of that? You were um, like talking. You were explaining. Oh, about oh yeah, Boxing yeah. And you so at like the same time. The whole point is you're just wearing that because you know that it's super hyped and it's like you have a lot of money and it's cool. But it's like being an a a rich forty year old and buying a fully built Supra and driving it around, but you don't even know what a two JZ is. That's a good one. That's, a good, like, well, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. there's this guy on YouTube, and what he does is he has, like, subscribers that come out to these little meets. Mm -hmm. And there's these kids with straight up thousands of dollars of clothing. Like, 14-year-olds wearing, like, high-end fashion designer stuff. And some of these kids just have the worst outfits, but they just wear things because, like... So hype beast. Yeah, because the issue is, is on their own, a Supreme Box logo is cool. On its own, a pair of Yeezys is cool, but when you start putting it all in one, it there's just no, there's no unity. It just it looks just... like you're just trying to flex on people, not oh, so show like off Rice nice Gum. style. Thank you. Like Rice Gum <laughs> literally just wears clothing because it has it. a lot of value, and it's like cool, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no there's no thought behind it. They just wore it just because it has it's known as cool basically yeah. and yeah. like when you put it all like that it just doesn't it doesn't work it doesn't work so, so then... let me ask you this let's say you have five million bank account and you're gaining a quarter of a mil a month are you not gonna do the rice gum move are you not gonna wear just like full no, like well the full outfit every day because you can i can or are you gonna be like nah i don't want to come across i'm just gonna play it reserve and do this it's not that's necessarily cool. reserved tj it's more like it's more like when you're trying to build your car right you have you're picking certain colors just because that'll work with well with your build you're not just buying fucking gritty shit and fucking um the sh yeah like the uh, best stuff. like like you're not just buying a rocket bunny you're you're i'm by i got rally backers because it fits my build doesn't mean like i can't get rocket bunny it's just for my build i'm i thought about it instead of just putting all the cool shit on it right mm. but to be fair you could also just not give a fuck yeah yeah yeah. because two chains is a rapper in case you didn't know but to be fair he is a rapper so he has more clout like he can wear things that are yeah, yeah, yeah. ridiculous because he's able to but he just completely accept, accepts it. He's like, I'm a hype beast. I'm a logo whore. Like, he just <laughs> wears crazy yeah. things on crazy things just because, like, he can. But but there's a difference there. There's Yeah. But there's, there's a difference And there. also, it's a thing of originality where when you wear things like that, it doesn't show that you have style because you're just wearing things that are big now as opposed to wearing things because you like it and it works well with what you have, that kind of thing. And you, like, enjoy it. But that's not to say that the people that buy their all in crazy, like crazy hypey stuff don't enjoy their clothes, but it just doesn't have originality in it, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a difference between rice gum and two chains. I mean, I'm making assumptions for rice gum, right? I'm making assumptions. I'm assuming that rice gum is exactly as he is in his videos. He's, that's not the case. I mean, I saw him. Really? He was at Complex Con. He was at Complex. Oh, there were these yeah. little kids like running up to him. Yeah. So it was funny. So I'm making assumptions, okay? So and assumptions on Two Chains. So Two Chains has accepted his new persona, right? As a hype beast, he's said he's accepted it and says, "I'm gonna wear this shit." Well, the negative connotation of hype beast, right? He accepts that mm -hmm. that he's gonna get that. So he's like, "I'm gonna wear this because I fucking like it. I'm a fucking hype beast." Whereas, um, I'm assuming again. Rice gum, he wears the box logo and the Yeezys and walks down the Supreme line at the store because he's, again, flexing on people. And it's just like, what are you fucking doing? Mm -hmm. He's no, not wearing it definitely. because he likes it. He might be. Again, I'm making up something. He's, he's wearing it because it has the notoriety and he's just doing it just mm -hmm. to do it. And part of it is like, you can't look at it for face value because I could see why... Like, some Yeezys, there are some basic ones, like the all-white ones, and then wearing, like, a Supreme logo. Like, as on for face value, it doesn't look bad. But once you know the culture, like, it just it just shows that you're just wearing... It 
to people looking in, it just looks like you're throwing things together to show that you have money, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For the most part, like that's an assumption, like not always the case, but yeah. But if you if you do well with your colors, right? If you if you have thought about it and match your colors, like if you wore Gucci and it had the uh, the Gucci stripe, right? And you matched your pants and your shoes with other brands that have the same colors, then I would say that's like that's style. You did it. Mm -hmm. You're not just wearing. You had some thought there. You're just not wearing like fucking Gucci and then what's the one that they has with the Plaid, the plaid I think he's Burberry of... Burberry you're not just wearing Burberry pants that are fucking brown and shit Should I... nope you could answer it oh. one second he no no just, uh, just answer it oh oh we're just gonna cut it yeah no we're not gonna cut it we're not gonna cut no, it we're... What's up? we can literally hear him <laughs> through the thing <laughs> <laughs> turn it down <laughs> um I can't turn it down dude okay so what do you think Teach? what do you I, 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 what about your shoes? Okay. How do you, I just, I well, I mean, I don't know. I, I buy the shoes. I think they look cool. And you see, like, I remember I, I bought, I don't know what I bought first. You bought NMDs. I bought, no, I bought the Yeezys. black ones? I think it was the Yeezys first. The black ones? Oh, no, the or was it Ultra Boosts? I don't know. I remember yeah. them being black. I don't and then know. Then you got I, brown ones. I I wear them because well I saw like yeah, where'd you, where'd other you get celebrities into wearing them, mm -hmm. and then I started to see like people that I'm friends with on YouTube start wearing them, like Christian Guzman and all this stuff. And then like I didn't think Yeezys looked good at first, and then when you just see it repetitive, whether it's just the marketing made me think it looked good or like I, I don't know. Eventually I was like, oh, those look pretty dope. I'm gonna pick some of those up. And then I got them, but I, I wear them. But the thing is with me that I think, I don't know if it se separates, but I, I just don't give a fuck like about them. Like all my NMDs, even my like ones I spent the most money on the prime knits. They're just, if you look at them, there's oil stains or they're, they're fucked as shit. Mm -hmm. They're disgusting. Um, I, I get them and I wear them just because the Yeezys, I just think they're dope. I think it's cool to have like mm -hmm. a pair of Kanye shoes. And I, I like the rarity of it like i yeah. like that it's like mm -hmm. definitely i think it's cool um to have that like sense of specialness um the ultra boost i don't think are hype at all that's like completely mainstream now i wear those just because i think they look good and it, it and mm -hmm. they're so comfortable so comfortable yeah. like i can't even talk high like, they're mm -hmm. so good yeah and these i think are the same they're extremely comfortable and i think they just go well with shit so i mean i, I think the only like shoes i would be like considerably like hype beast would be my Yeezys but again that's like such a common but that's like finding like a pistol in PUBG it's like sick like mm -hmm. so it's like yeah I, I just mm -hmm. so, I mean I don't even yeah. have the V2s yeah so and do you just because you... I felt it got like overplayed but that, and then I saw it was like oh like having those it it got to a point where like so many people and you see like you saw the young kids wear it and it kind of like tarnishes the image no, enough to where it's like oh like those ridiculous colored ones it's just like it kind of comes off that you're just like i guess trying to flex like you said and yeah. then it's like oh well i don't want to like wear these and i've even gotten to the point where sometimes we're like i'll wear like my yeezys um with an outfit and i don't have any supreme shit to like i just wear it with whatever i'm wearing and i i even i found myself sometimes like depending on where i'm going i'm like ugh, i don't want to wear these i don't want to feel like i'm trying to like show off and i don't wear them I've ran into that like handfuls and handfuls mm -hmm. of times or I'm just like, I would rather not wear like if I like if we're going on a trip mm -hmm. Calvin, we're like traveling and we're like in a city that had like, isn't as nice of a city as like we're living in. And I don't want to come off as like speaking like San Diego is better, but like a lower income area, like, or you know, if we're going to like East LA or some like a mm -hmm. car meet East LA or like, mm -hmm. you know, there's, it's a, I don't know. I just don't want to feel like I'm coming off like, ooh, look at my fucking shoes. This is more than, you know? like Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to feel that. I get where you're coming from, but I've just come, for me personally, I'm just like, I don't, I want to wear the things I want to wear. And the way I look at it is people don't judge you if you have bad clothes or normal clothes. So I don't see why, if you don't have anything nice to say, then me wearing the clothes I want to wear that just so happen to be more expensive or whatever, 
like it shouldn't be a point of conversation just to like because i've had my friends make jokes about me wearing supreme like ooh supreme but like for me it's just i wear the clothes i want to wear and that's just like what i want to do so i don't understand why it's being made a conversation piece when no one else's clothing is but i also get do, do you get what i'm saying i see how it being more expensive is like makes it something to talk about but i just don't worry about that because i just wear what i want to mm -hmm. no um, sure sure um but what, what i'm more still going off of it's like how do i put it when you wear like maybe i'll use i'll use a car for reference uh, when i had the gtr and it was like bagged on the gold rims like, that car was dope but there were times where like i like didn't want to take that to a car meet because i didn't want to come off as like look at fucking me dude like running in a gtr bagged on like crazy wild gold rims and i was like mm, like i think i'll take like my 350 you know what i mean and from that's just that's oh, a, that's a dude, personal I got, thing I got that, that's a per and so it's, yeah, it's exactly. completely different I got, one. I got one there was times where i was like yeah i'll take this car it's fitting and other cars where i'm just like yeah like i'll i'll be more subtle and i guess that kind of goes into me like for me personally like calvin can speak on this sometimes like when i go out i just like don't want to i just the last thing i want to do is conversate and that's just like that's not being an asshole that's like yeah i just don't like yeah you're showing the mood. i'm not like a, i don't really like to be as social i don't know how to explain it it's not like every i don't know so no, you know sometimes, you, have, no, sometimes you have days where you're just like i just want to go get my sandwich i just want to I just want to like, good. Just, yeah, go home I just, and go like, watch my TV I love show. people and not that like everywhere I go, there's always like someone asking about the car, or, like a subscriber sees the car, but some days I'm just like, I just don't want any attention. I want no one. I just want no attention mm -hmm. with from anything and anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so like, so, I just like, I shy away from some of the stuff. I see, I see TJ's point and I see Benedict's point because with that exam, uh, TJ's analogy, let's say, let's say if I, um, I would, uh, Sometime in the future, I would like to own an Aventador, right? So TJ wouldn't necessarily want to drive around in his GTR because of um, the reasons he previously said. But I think I'm in the mindset of Benedict. I'm going to drive this car. And if I look like I'm flexing on you, well, get fucked because that's your problem. Yeah, you, you're taking it like you're that. You're taking it yeah. like that. I'm just driving my car, sure. right? Mm -hmm. So that's... Um, but I also see TJ's point where, let's say if we go to, like, um, not not the best of neighborhoods right so like east la again and people from east la can even say east la is not good right so i agree like if you're going there's certain situations just because of the setting you're in um it's fair to make that assumption if the people living there also make the same assumption but keep, keep in mind too like what i said like it's extremely personal. Like that's like that's like a me thing. Yeah. It's not like yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone absolutely. else should feel that way. That's like that's just how I'm hardwired. That's just from my like that's just me. And there's mm -hmm. no explanation to that. Um, and not to say like oh you know just because you have X amount like you know like you have a more expensive whatever it doesn't always mean like you're trying to like show off because it mm -hmm. absolutely doesn't like no, absolutely fuck yeah. no it doesn't. I mean you yeah. live the way of life you want and I don't know like I I could totally see myself being into clothing and stuff like that I yeah i was gonna ask time. you that like what 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 stops have me? you been looking have you been looking at like uh yeah i mean like i i just don't i mean at the end of the day it's i just don't have the time almost okay. like i just like don't to do the research and to do that i just mm -hmm. i'd rather be doing something else I don't know how to explain it. I've always, yeah. like, I like that. And I could, like, I could see myself really getting into it and getting, like, all wrapped up in that just as much as I am with cars. Yeah. Um, it just... What about you, Benedict? It just hasn't happened. What are, you, what are your top brands right now? What are your top... Don't... You don't have to mention any low-key ones that you're trying to keep for yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. But that, that's... that's Really? That's a thing? That's, I, absolutely. Uh, mm, not really. I mean, a lot of the brands I like are pretty well known. I like Supreme because... They have Better nice designs. The... I do enjoy what they bring. Don't forget Palace. Palace is one of my favorites. He tried to go there in New York. If you go there. on their websites, they have like descriptions for their clothes, and they're just like ridiculous. And I just like the the vibe, like the Give type us an of example. Yeah, I don't know what you're. Uh, yeah, what is, oh what's what's their description? Is it funny? Oh, they're straight ridiculous. Like, like one, what does that mean? one was like, they're completely random. Like one was like, 
they say you are what you eat, but I'm a fat fuck and I don't eat fat fucks or something like that. <laughs> like TJ, like what? We should do that. Let me show you. Let me no, show you. Sorry. No. Why not, dude? It's funny. I've never heard of Palace. Vincent always has Palace stickers. By the really? Way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything, dude. Oh, boring stuff. Yeah, here. Let me see. I gotta find like a good one. Sorry, sorry for the lull in the. This doesn't in matter. The broadcast. It doesn't matter. It's probably like thirty seconds. Someone's already fucking twenty minutes deep. One. They can wait a little bit. I'm gonna go with this one. And it doesn't have one. Sometimes they have it. Big up. Big up, my new sofa. Sofa, so, sofa, so good. <laughs> Just like random, like, and like when you have when you follow them on Instagram, it's like a skating brand, but it, they're just kind of funny, basically. And um, they just kind of like but, clown on like the yeah. Whole thing. What else do I like? There's a bunch of like little ones, and there's like I like a lot of tours. Oh, yeah, it's hot. It's hot. I'm getting a little toasty in here. But uh, freezing my ass off. But um. I like tour shirts. I like concert shirts because they're clothes that you can't just buy in a store. You have to get them when you go to the concert. And oh, yeah, there like are the some, one that you bought for Yeezy. Yeah, there's some, like Travis Scott, one of my favorites. He He's into fashion, so his tour merch isn't just like some simple like Travis Scott tour. Like he puts his own designs on it, that kind of thing. But uh, back to what you said, how you wear your your shoes like however, you, however the fuck you want to. Yeah. For a lot of people... This is two things. For a lot of people, the reason why they keep their stuff nice is because if you scuff them up a little bit, if you got them for retail, like as an example, Yeezys, if you got them for retail, they're about 220 You can sell them brand new at least $500, $600. And if you wore them for like a year and you kept them pretty nice, you could without a doubt sell them for more than retail, guaranteed. That's not a question. And that goes into my second point, which is... um. A lot of people look at streetwear and like, I can't believe people are spending large amounts of money, like $50, $60, whatever, just expensive amounts on clothing. And they're like, why, what's the point of it? But for someone that enjoys fashion and enjoys to recite or change the cycle of their clothing with new clothing and take out things that they don't want with streetwear brands, you can sell your old clothes for most likely at the least retail and if it's like a a nice shirt you'll still make money on it after wearing it a lot and basically if you take care of it yeah if you do take care of it and like for example if you go to the mall and you buy a shirt for like thirty dollars for the most part if you tried to sell that anywhere you get like five dollars from like a thrift shop like people aren't going to want to buy like something you bought at the mall yeah because it doesn't have that clout but as opposed, suppose because it's easy to me. get, right? As opposed to Supreme, yeah, it's anyone can buy it. But Supreme, you could spend forty dollars on a shirt, and then wear it, and then probably sell it for like sixty or fifty. Because you're done with it. Yeah, because I don't want it anymore. So then you could spend that money on ah. the next thing you want. So that's just oh, I some see. insight into it. Because it's so, for it's for people that care about clothing and want to be switching it out constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Benedict's an avid doer of that. He's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has quite the closet downstairs. I do enjoy clothes. If we could show you, we would, but we're not going to, so rip. Well, damn. I think we're close to about over 30 minutes, Kyle. Give it... I... Two more. Maybe a minute. Maybe a minute left. But yeah, I that. think that's good that's because Benedict good. needs to get gone. It's yeah, already Benedict 40. Has a... Benedict has a date, baby. Ooh, bro. Ooh. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, hey, hey, baby. Wanna go get some ice cream? Yeah, let me eat your butt. Whoa! Oh, my God. Nope, that's it. That's it. Bye. (laughs) Bye Bye-bye, everyone. Let me eat your butt. I can't press the thing and the podcast. Hey, baby.